Hello there. I don't know where I got the confidence to decide to film a fashion related video, but here we are. This is what I'm wearing this summer. Not that anybody, anybody at all asked. And I currently possibly look like a scientist in a lab. You know? I'm Meg. I am apparently declaring myself as a fashionista here. I'm not usually. I have a few new things and I have a few reoccurring things that I wear every summer that I want to share with you all. Without further ado, let's get stuck into the first category. <laughs> first category! I'm in the same outfit that you just saw me in. There's no change. First category is dad shirts. Bow! I call these dad shirts is because they're literally my dad's shirts like plucked from his wardrobe first one being a white one because everybody needs a white button down in summer I love 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 oversized shirts I use them all year round but they really come into play in summer because outfits like these where your top is a little bit smaller but it's a little bit chilly out just to be wearing that so you have an overshirt to throw on it is smart, it is classy, it is sexy, it is cute, it is everything you need. I would wear this to see my mother-in-law and be like, I'm gonna marry your son. I think it's stunning. I would recommend getting your oversized shirts from Depop, charity shops, all in men's section. I really would only head to men's section because you're not going to get a good oversized fit in a woman's section. You need them to look like you stole them from your boyfriends, your dads, your granddads, somebody's wardrobe. So yeah, thank you dad for sponsoring today's video and not willingly giving me your shirts. You're great. Yeah, I just think this is such a cute basic outfit and it's one that I can just quickly pull together and look like I actually put some thought into things. Bit of a tote bag on my shoulder, an even more relaxed vibe, you add your sandals with it, you can even also with a cap. You're winning, but I'll get into the accessories later. Next category! Skirts and dresses is a very much a new category in my wardrobe for summertime. Usually I have always dreaded summer because of the fact that it gets warm out, which means you can't wear a lot of clothing. It has often scared me. I haven't in the past liked myself in skirts or dresses or anything that got my legs out, my arms out. I also lean to more typical boyish masculine clothing, whatever that means because it means nothing to me nowadays, to be honest. I love, love, love mixing something like this very pretty, traditionally somewhat feminine skirt with something like a pair of Converse, a shirt on top, which I actually, I think this oversized dad shirt would be pretty cool with it. Hold on, let me show you. <laughs> I really do like wearing something like a big shirt to make this a little bit more casual instead of something that I could wear out. But the good thing about this skirt is that it's something I can wear during the day, but it's also something I can wear at night. I can't really put this on properly because I have a hair clip in. But I think this could be pretty cool with a cap on, my white converse. But I got a few skirts and I have two dresses coming and I have a dress here as well because I decided this summer that I enjoy my body and I think I shouldn't restrict myself to wearing big oversized t-shirts and being roasting in the sun just because I'm scared. So yeah, this summer I very much decided that I want to dress the way I want to dress and I want to have fun with my clothing and I am so that's a really good thing but I also have other skirts to show you. <laughs> so this is my next skirt. A little bit more boho hippie vibes. It is a midi skirt and it is blue which is my favourite colour. It has a gorgeous slit down it as well. This is really hard to show you here because it's long. I love it so much. So flowy, so breathable and I never would have thought I would wear a midi skirt because I'm quite short so I usually would be scared of them but I am now obsessed. This skirt 10 out of 10. It's so easy as well to throw on with a bathing suit, all of that. I love it. Before I move on to my dress, I just wanted to show the other skirt that I currently have in my wardrobe. It is a skirt. We love it. It just makes it much more freeing to wear and a little less like, ooh, what if my skirt blows a skirt, skirt, skirt. What if my skirt blows up in the wind? So I had none of those worries. Wore this nonstop in Dublin. I'm not going to try on because you've seen it on me nonstop and my Instagram is just flooded with it. But 
stunning. Next item is ooh, this dress. I'm wearing a dress. Ah, I adore this. I knew the minute I saw it that I was like, I have to have this. It's so important as well to really get to know what you like and what shapes you like. I'm a big fan of a halter neck or something that kind of shows off this area, the decolletage or whatever it is called. I really need to tie up my hair. Also, if you wanted to just add one of your dad's shirts or your oversized shirts on top and tying it also gives you a little bit more flirty and less of a cover up if that is what you like. I think this is super cute with a white shirt on top and having it a bit open so you can see the detail. So yeah, that is my skirt and dresses category. I never thought I'd have one for summer, but here we are. Very pretty. Ooh, look at this. Are you kidding me? Hello. Who is this? Cause I don't know her. So I feel very exposed right now. First off, this category is flirty and cute tops to put on when you have an occasion that's after 5 p.m. That's the name of the category. So I think it's important to have four tops in your wardrobe that are a little flirty, a little bit fun, that could even jazz up like a pair of jeans, jazz up anything, so that when you last minute are like, ooh, let's go to have some drinks maybe. I say that as if I don't sit in my room every Friday night watching a movie and doing nothing. Maybe I should be more spontaneous. But yes, this is one of those tops. This is a very extra one. My other ones aren't this extra. This is top number two in this category. I have actually worn this one before. This pink is very cool, very hot. As you can tell, I don't know what to do with myself in these tops. I don't know who I thought I was when I ordered them. Like I said, want to feel good in my body and have some fun with it and just wear flirty fun things this summer. So these tops are just two examples of them. I also have these two plain ribbed halter neck ones from Urban Outfitters as well. You guys have seen them on me already in this video. But yeah. These are my fun flirty tops for summer. Also, don't be afraid to use your bikini tops as little under tops and a shirt over the top. Like this is really cute. I really like this. This is a, I'm walking down to the beach or I'm walking to get a coffee. I just woke up. I literally just woke up and now I'm going to get a coffee. Yeah, you're looking at me. I don't blame you. Can I have a cappuccino, please? And they'd be like, <laughs> yes, you can on the house for wearing that outfit. Don't judge me, but this came at the perfect time for the next category because it is graphic tees. So yeah, this category is graphic tees because you cannot go wrong with an oversized graphic tee in your wardrobe. It is the best thing ever. A big t-shirt and blue jeans. I live for it. This is what I gravitate towards. This is what I throw on when I'm being rushed out of the house. You can put it with sandals to make it even more like, I just woke up and I live by the beach. Always, always, once again, men's section, the only way to go. One of my favorite places to get oversized t-shirts is men's section Pull and Bear. I've had some from there for four years, three years. I keep them, I wear them, I love them. They're lived in and I adore them. It's something that will never go out of style. You'll always love these. I'm ready for summer. So my last little category is what I like to call, let's be real. There are days where the last thing I want to do is put on denim, like ooh to that some days. And then there's some days where I cannot physically put on the skirt because I haven't shaved my legs in about two, three weeks. That's not ideal. So what do we do in that circumstance? This is I crawled, physically crawled out of the bed. Didn't really want to leave, but had to. She tracksuit bottoms that actually matter of fact might be pajama bottoms. 
But who, who's gonna know that? We've got a hoodie, because we might be going grocery shopping and that can get cold. And then we've got a tank top that may fool you into thinking I tried today. When in fact trying was the absolute last thing I did. <laughs> Round of applause. Next. But my last little category of what I'm gonna be wearing this summer is accessories. Let me tell you, you can look awful and then add some good accessories and nobody looks twice. Accessories change everything. Have a few staple rings in your life. They don't have to be crazy expensive. Two or three rings that you can put on all at once or switch them around, whatever it is you want. You also want a few necklaces. Get yourself some necklaces, go. Yeah, this is a plain black tank top, but we've got layered jewelry on it, so it's breaking it up. It's less boring, it's a little bit exciting. These are Zara, they're pretty like sturdy and I just throw them on when I need them. I would be wearing them, but they make a, a little bit of noise, so I wasn't gonna wear them for the video. Another must-have staple at summertime is a cap. Your hair is greasy, who cares? Put on your cap. People think you're doing it to be cool. No, you're doing it because you haven't washed your hair in six days. But really, try your best not to wash your hair every now and again because you need all those natural oils. Besides the point, besides the point, this is a lifesaver. And last but not least, shoes. I got these shoes at the start of summer and I've actually only really started wearing them because I'm a little bit insecure about my toes. I love them, so, so comfy, so handy to throw on. And do you know the best thing about sandals? You don't have to go finding socks. So if you're all out of socks or your socks are mixed matching and not working out for you, these bad boys and their platform. As a five foot three girl, platforms are my friends. I've got a cool pair of statement Converse. And lastly, just a pair of white Converse white shoes. Every outfit that I've worn today, these would go with. So that's the best thing in the world. I need to give them a good clean. I think that is everything. And when I tell you my head is fried, I don't know how this video went. I'm actually nervous about it. I hope you guys love this video. I have no idea how it's gone, but that's okay. I will see you all next week. And I adore you so, so much. Please subscribe if you're new here. This was chaotic. I'm not usually too chaotic. I promise, I promise. Anyway, goodbye.